Einmal Kunja. Scha. Oh! Damn, oh, bro. Talk about a smack. <laughs> bro, that was a slapper rapper, man. Yo, yo, fellas, welcome back to another video. Today we have Acuna. Now, Acuna's a very unique card in FIFA, guys, because it's not many 5'8 players that are stocky that also get given 96 balance, good, crazy dribbling at 95, composure, the max stamina almost, pretty much almost max stamina. He got high aggression and strength. Jumping not the greatest, but um, he's also left-footed. So, you know, player on the left side, awesome. He's got the outside of the foot shot trades with the shot power at 91. It's still kind of high, but maybe you can bang him in, maybe. Maybe you have to do him for a little bit further distance, but I'm pretty sure he can still bang him. And, yeah, like, everything about the car looks like a bulldog, bro. So, this looks very interesting. CDM and center mid. Argentina, so it makes it easier to link for my boy Lionel. So, yeah, man, like I said, though, there's a lot of competition on FIFA. If you've... If you got a lot of center mid SBCs, savage, you know, it's tough to beat this man. It's also Socrates if you got lucky. Rabio, you know, with the SBC that just came out, got Rabio. There's Pedri Vieira, Gavagiol, Silva, Kamic, Samborota. There's a lot of competition for the center mid area. But let's go ahead and test them out and see what I feel about Cunha. We're going to go ahead and try this behemoth and uh, the C CDM position. And then we're looking to try them in the. Uh, an attacking uh, scenario in the 4-3-2-1. Kind of as a left mid slash attacking center mid in a way. So we're going to see what, what that's like. Hopefully I can review this player well. My LB button is now broken. But uh, we'll do what we can. Yeah, he feels already amazing. Plastic, like wise, he's not going to be the, like, the craziest at turning in circles. But nobody is nowadays, right? Let's try some shots though. I think in general, like, if you're just left sticking in FIFA 23, I don't know, bro. You got to be using the LB, RB anyway. Go, Cunha. Honestly, with this card, you can do so much different things with the chem styles. You can even get more Hunter. Oh, turned on him. Nice. Yep, he has those. Oh, we got about <laughs> trucked. Outside the first shot. Oh, it didn't dip. It didn't dip, but it definitely had accuracy. <laughs> he definitely got the movement, man. Una. Yep. Oh my goodness. That's a goal. Yeah, as you can see, man, they don't dip, but like they still, you know, you can still bang them. Oh yeah, his movement is so nice. Nice. Finally, you got some defensive actions right there, man. Oh. Another try. <laughs> nice, you got a foot in there. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah, it didn't dip there. Hmm. Hey, nice, 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 nice. Did I just get bodied? All right, Cunha. Nice, nice tackle. You are not actively playing the game. Come on, dude. My controller's on, G. Nice. Good tackle. Nice, Acuna. <laughs> He's hard to, like, guess, man. Hmm. Yeah, he's not reaching those. Oh, he couldn't get a foot in there, man. Again. I'm with Cunha. Shot. Oh! Oh! 
Damn, bro. Talk about a smack. <laughs> Yo, they smacked the shit out of that. Dude, that was a slapper. Bro, that was a slapper rapper, man. That was a nasty shot, man. That man could have... That shot could have turned Riley Reed Saint. All right, there you go. He got the best of him. He got the best of him. Fin outside the foot shot. Ah. Yeah, we're missing. We're missing some spots. <laughs> Look at that dribbling right there. That was. That's what you pay for. In Oh, there you go. Nice foot. <laughs> yeah, that's a goal. Yeah, that's money. It's that dribbling that Phil is going to separate him from a lot of center mids. His LBRB dribbles. Acuna. Oh, they can't take the ball off of him. Oh, what a run. That was actually insane. What a goal finish. Nice, Acuna. Yep, there you go. Nice. All right, so what are my final thoughts on Acuna, guys? So the card itself is honestly a gift because he's really cheap for under 150K. That's a, that's a gift in my opinion. Um, I'll say uh, uh, in a two sentiment formation, it's going to be a little bit tough for him to start in your lineup if you've already been grinding the game a lot. He might already have a player like Savage, Socrates. He might have a player like Gavagiol, you know, players that can really bully people. And he might be tough to get into that lineup. But he can get into that left mid lineup, I'll tell you that, because I'm pretty sure that you don't have a lot of left mids that can do what he does. You know, they can defend, has the stamina, has the attacking positioning, has the trace outside the first shot. Now, it ain't one of the best outside the first shots I've tried. You know, Musiala has a one that's a different breed. Uh, Modric has a better one as well. But when it comes to left mid position, you know, he can really compete there. He's, you know, he can really compete in that position. And since a lot of people tend to play with a, either 4 3 2 1 or the five backs, he might be really interesting to use. Uh, in that as a left wing back or uh, in the five for one as someone that you know plays left mid, he could be really interesting there. If yeah, he doesn't have the five for skill moves, but um, you know, obviously he costs way much more if he would have given that. But um, in the two center formation, he kind of when I did use him there, he reminded me a little bit of Tonali, but with still worse defensive capabilities. Even though he's strong, Acuna nowadays even his stocky body type is not enough to compete against the Socrates or the you know savages you're not so even though he's big he still gets tossed around like a rag doll as you saw even Gavar Joe would mess the, the man up even some brother will drop him too but that's what I'm saying if you EA would have given him like 95 defensive awareness which would be a big difference I would have noticed it since I've tried Barella I've tried even Kimmich at 93 and I've noticed the difference between 91 to 93 I've noticed it massively Kimmich is very intelligent in that two sentiment formations so, I'm still taking, in the two center formations, I'm still taking a Tonali. I'm still taking, if we're talking about defensive capabilities, I'm still taking my Tonali, my Barella in the two center formations. Still am, due to the fact that they're just smarter, man. They run that two, two center mid spot really well. But at left mid, I'm taking Acuna. At left mid, I'm taking Acuna. It's probably one of the best left mids right now, too. Unless I'm tripping now. There might be some other ones. Honestly, there's a lot of things you can do now. But... He's he's got it all for left mid. He's got it all, man. That's, that, that position could be his, you know, at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. I feel like um, I nail. I feel like I probably nailed it, you know, attacking wise, left stick wise. Oh, forgot to say, his attacking AI was solid, man. And his maneuver with the left stick and right and the LBRB, woo, it was good. It was good. He can even if you play him in two center two center formation. Let's say you wanna. Let's say you don't mind losing a little bit of height and reach. You might be having someone that that does good enough defense with long shots, and that could be enough for you with good movement. You know, it could be sold right there. So, 
Yeah, man, it depends how you take it. It depends on the personal taste, too, you know. I'm still taking my big dudes at two centerman positions, but um, if unless it's Barella and, like, the players that I trust, like Kimmich and Barella. But if not, he I put him on left mid. Go ahead, do your thing, right? Do your thing on left mid. 4-3-2-1, uh, 4-4-2 defense. He defends on the left mid position. We're in. We're in. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, catch y'all later. Peace.